Well, of course, we all know dogs come in all shapes and sizes. It's the goal of a dog rescue here in Indiana to find homes for some of the largest, the Great Pyrenees. In this morning's To the Rescue, I want to introduce you to the volunteers finding these gentle giants some wonderful forever homes. The Great Pyrenees is a powerful working dog that can grow to be well over 100 pounds. Hi, you're a big dog. They also make friendly companions and vigilant guardians, but they are not the right fit for every family. Hi, babies. That's why Jane Rose founded Indy Great Pyrenees Rescue. Most of them come from animal shelters as strays because um, if you don't have a fence, these guys are gone. They're bred to roam and they will patrol and create their own territory unless you find a way to secure them. A lot of these dogs end up in the wrong home because families just don't do their research. The Great Pyrenees can be a great family dog, but you need to know a lot more about their traits before you settle on a Great Pyrenees. Oh, beautiful. So far, the rescue has helped about 1,300 Great Pyrenees. Boy, happy boy. Carrie Huffman is a foster and volunteer for the rescue. It feels really, really great um, as a foster mom being able to adopt that dog back out. I mean, and sometimes it can be difficult because, you know, you fall in love with the dogs. But in the end, it's best when they have those forever homes and then I can uh, that my husband and I can take in more foster dogs to just keep the cycle going. And that's him smiling at you. Right now, they only have about 10 families fostering their dogs and 10 volunteers. The more people they can get to help with the rescue, the more Great Pyrenees they can save. And if you'd like to learn more about Indy Great Pyrenees Rescue, we have a link with this story at WTHR.com to the rescue. And we will have today at noon profile some of the Pyrenees that are actually up for adoption right here in Indiana. They have many of them. They're all adorable. <laughs> well, two things I noticed during your piece is that first off, it, 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 these people get so emotional mm -hmm. because they yeah. they're they get attached to these dogs mm -hmm. and they want the best for them. Secondly, when you were doing your stand up, you were petting the dog, the Great Pyrenees, mm -hmm. and and you moved your hand away, and he's like, Oh no, no, <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're not done yet. Yeah. You're still petting me. I like that about. And her. I yeah. hope we find uh, her a home. She was a really great dog mm. and had been wait. She's been waiting for about a year and a half. Oh, that's so cool. yeah, oh, we'll wow. get, they, get need her. A, they need a lot of space, but like you said, the cars are just big babies. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Like and that. just get a lint roller. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> friend has, uh, I was over at their uh, house this past weekend, they have one, mm -hmm. and his name is Griffy. Oh, The so cutest, cute. and uh, <laughs> literally just like a big body pillow. Uh -huh. He'll just like walk up to you, nuzzle you, and then you, you pet him, and then you can yes. make a sweater. Yeah. Uh, just yep. <laughs> that just sounds, the one act, that sounds right. My dogs were <laughs> freaking out when I came <laughs> home, so looked like I met a polar bear or something, so <laughs> great Aww. rescue doing some good yeah. work.